right, good morning. I've got uh, I've got my door frames ready for me to uh, dry fit and get my hinges on and get my uh, my hinge holes drilled and everything. I've got uh, I've got one here. I'm getting ready to do and. Uh, those all pre-drilled and everything and uh, yesterday I stained I stained my lower cabinets and there's five five doors and there's one there there's one there there's one there one there and one there I've got my opening ready for for the drawer and uh, I put uh, I put this in yesterday in the center of those two, and I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to make four doors or just make two two big ones. I haven't decided yet. Um, my preference would be to make four doors, you know, two there and two there, just because this way they don't open up so far. However, there is plenty of room. For this door to open up and miss and miss this side over here so it just depends on how I feel when I get to it um, but I I only stained to right there because I had that glued up and uh, was waiting for that to dry so now that that's dry um, you know I'll be able to continue on uh, but uh, stain looks real good. So I'm pleased with that. So, all right, let me, uh, let me go ahead and put these hinges on. That little small door is for trash can opening. So, get those on. Okay, I've got all the hinges on. And now I'm going to install them. Get my, uh, my uh, hinge holes in the cabinet drills so that when I get them tongue and groove and stained, I can just come in and they'll already be uh, pre-hung. So, all right, let me uh, let me get this middle one here done, and I'll do the end one, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Okie dokie. I've got all my. My hinges on. So now what I got to do is just take them, take them off, take the hinges off, and then I have to, you know, route the inside, uh, install my tongue and groove, and then, uh, you know, sand them real good, stain them, shellac them, and life is good. Um, yeah, very nice, very pleased. Very pleased. Okay. Um, I bought all of the hinges that Lowe's had, so I'm gonna have to go to a different store and, and get some more. But uh, I had five left, and that's how many doors I had. And there's two in a package, so it worked out perfect. All right. Let me get these taken off. I'm gonna take them outside and and do my routing and start to install my tongue and groove. I want to get these all tongue and groove today so that they, you know, the, 
and sand them and shellac them. They can dry tonight and then tomorrow I can hang them up and be done with them. All right. Okay, I'm all set up. I got, uh, got my tongue and groove material there. Got my doors ready to be, uh, to be routed. I'm all set up here. Got my, my router ready to go. So let the routing begin. All right. I've got my, uh, my new favorite tool all ready to go. Got my bit in there. And now I'm getting ready to route this out. So I'm gonna uh, stop this and start it again and then I'll speed that one up. And there it is. Nice, nice routed edge. And, uh, my tongue and groove will go right in there. Nice and perfect. See the battery? Gotta go get another battery. Battery went dead. Be right back. Okay, I've got all my, my door frames are all routed out and uh, I'm going to uh, start with this small one. I've got some, uh, some scrap pieces that I am going to use. throw anything away so these pieces will work just fine in here so I'll uh, get my saw set up which is right there and I'll start cutting my pieces and I gotta get my table saw out too because I gotta you know you'll have to have to rip a small one once he gets to the end. So, all right, I'll be back.
have it. The perfect door. This one's ready to be glued and screwed. Glued and brad nailed. <laughs> All right. So let's see. I think I'll. I think I'll work on this this big one now. This big one looks like it'd be fun. So this nice big one here. These are all pretty tall. These are 29 and a half inches. So pretty much none of my scraps are gonna, are gonna work. So to get some, uh, some new ones out. I bought, uh, I bought two packages yesterday. So that should get me through these five cabinets. Plenty left over. All right, I'll be back. Okay, that's five more doors. Let those all set up for a couple of hours and then I'll sand them and stain them. Okay, so while those are setting up and drying, I'm going to go ahead and build my frames for these two doors down here. And uh, then they can be drying today. And then I can make those tomorrow or maybe later on this afternoon. So, so let, me, uh, let me measure these and cut those and glue them up. I actually decided to make... Uh, four doors for down here two on each side this way they you know they only open up you know maybe five or six inches uh, ten inches or so one big door would probably work but i think it would be more of a pain in the ass than than just 
you know, splitting each section into two doors. It's not going to take away from, you know, storage or anything like that. I just think it'd be easier to, to work the doors than two big ones. So I had, I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm building my frames for, for the cat tower and it's going to be two doors, one up here and one down there. So when you open it, you'll see those two cabinets. And then uh, when you open the bottom one, you'll see those two cabinets. Now on the side here, because you see they're open on the sides too. Now those, I might make individual doors. I don't know. It depends on how I feel at the time. So I've got my... got the first one clamped up and since it's so long I decided to uh, make it into uh, uh, you know put a put a third so there's one two let me turn this so even though it's one big door it's gonna have two sections of tongue and groove um, and then this one right here will be uh, it'll be um, how should I say it, It'll be one door, but it'll look like it'll have two sections. And again, I've only got three clamps. Well, I've got four, but uh, I needed a third one for the middle. So when that sets up for a few minutes, then I'll do I'll do the other one, which is right there. So, all right, all right. I got my two uh, cat tower doors for the front facing are glued up. We'll let them set up for an hour or so. Um, these doors are done. They've been sitting out here for an hour, uh, actually or two. So I'm going to, uh, so I'm going to, so Gina wants to be in the video. She's having some cookies. Sorry. So I'm gonna just get ready to sand those and stain those. Maybe I look like hell. <laughs> eating cookies. And my hair's crazy, but I'm shopping. We got our uh, our knobs in. Here's a knife. So let's open them up and see what they look like. I know, right? We were them last night. Oh. Oh. Yeah. She got to put them in that box. They look nice. Mm -hmm. I like them. Very nice. They're all different. Uh, yeah, but they're black and white, so yeah. they don't. There's different patterns on each one. Kind of cool. Alright, well maybe later on we'll hang some knobs. Very cool. Now <laughs> Okay, so all my, all the doors are sanded and ready for, uh, for stain. So, they're looking good. All right, let me, uh, let me move my table over here over into the grass because I don't want to get the stain all over the driveway even though, as you can see, my my truck likes to leak oil sometimes. <laughs> okay. I got all the doors stained. Just got them sitting out here. Giant. 
and it takes a good 24 hours for them to to dry all the way and not be feel oily so five of them all right well that's it for the day we're going to the movies it's christmas eve hope everybody has a great christmas tomorrow and uh we'll see you next time so merry christmas merry christmas <laughs> merry christmas